I had to wake up really early this morning to, um, I, I'm not supposed to be wearing this anymore, but, um, I have a retainer from, pff, I got my braces off, what, like, four years ago or something? That's what my orthodontist said today. And I had the retainer, I was supposed to wear it for, like, a year, but I, like, I don't know. Now that I've worn it so much, um, I just, I feel like my teeth move if I don't wear it at night. And I feel like, you know, when air goes through, like, the little spaces in your teeth, and I don't like that at all. Um, I don't know, it just really annoys me. So, um, my retainer had, I broke it on accident. Um, I was trying to make it a little tighter, I was like pushing the thing together, and, and it just like snapped. Uh, I guess it's too old, but, uh, but yeah, they fixed it. I had to wake up at 9 this morning, and... Let me tell. I haven't woken. I haven't woken up before 10:30 in probably three months because I don't have class till at least 12:30. Um, today I have class at two o'clock, and I, it's one o'clock now, so I'm gonna leave in probably 30 minutes. Um, yeah. The internet. Oh, I was just watching. Um. This thing, uh, a news story. You know, Yahoo. You can always watch the little like news stories. Uh, yeah, there's there's like a new technology that's out. Um, just kind of like discovered that tracks your motion can put you into like a 3D uh, virtual world. Um, it was on ABC News, and it's a company called Organic Motion. Um, you know, if you've ever watched like a behind the scenes thing. They put those like little uh, tennis balls. You're like in a suit with like not tennis balls, ping pong balls. It looks like that. You're in like a big jumpsuit with ping pong balls all around you. Um, that's how they like in Harry Potter. They do some of the Quidditch scenes, all those like action scenes. Uh, they just like create a virtual Daniel Radcliffe um, and track his motion so he can act it out. They also did it for Lord of the Rings. Um, they do it for video games with all the like the sports video games and stuff. Uh, but they they have like a new technology now where it uses cameras or sensors or something, and you don't have to wear like a big jumpsuit. You can just like walk into your room. They're, they were talking about how it could be applied in the uh, in the future, and some of it includes like uh, movies will be um, they can adapt to the way you're reacting, like a horror movie could react to the way you're adapting while you're watching it um, and your reactions so I don't know how that would work but um, also in clothing stores they talked about uh, sh like the mirror you know you can look at yourself in the mirror um, or even online if you have like a webcam or something I don't know um, and it would put like a clothes one of the clothing pieces on you in a virtual like picture and you could see how it would look on you, and then you could buy it or not buy it if you don't like it. Um, kind of cool. Really neat uh, things. Um, what else is there? In the world today, yeah, the, uh, the swine epidemic that's starting to surface now. I'm kind of concerned. Like, I'm, I'm going to wash my hands a lot more now. And I'm just scared that, you know, this could be the next big, like, plague. You got to be prepared, right? Um... What else? I know this is like, I'm just trying to fill time today and like talk because the last three days I've just been like, oh hey, uh, I'm at tech and uh, can't do this today. Boring crap. Here's a question. Uh, what's the future of the internet? You know, like piracy, not like Somalian with guns pirates, um, piracy as in uh, stealing software and music and all that stuff. Um, how can it be controlled? How? Because if the only way I see that it could be controlled is for the internet providers to uh, track what what you're downloading on your computer through their internet service. But that's never going to happen because um, if one company does that, then people will shift to a new company, and uh, then our right to privacy in America, at least, um, will we'll kind of be giving that up, won't we? Um, 
if people are able to track down what we're doing all the time, that's it's kind of like Big Brother in a virtual way. Um, yeah, so what is the future of the internet? How are they going to monitor these things? Because with, you know, um, technology advancing as it is, uh, music was the primary um, thing that was pirated, and now video and movies are starting to really become popular because uh, people are getting faster internet and uh, more hard drive space, faster computers. So as time goes on, you know, software and everything, those big files will be able to download it in a... T the big files will be able to be downloaded uh, so quickly. So what is... How are they going to monitor that? Let me know what you think about that. I don't know. Okay. I think we're good. We're good for today. Are we alright? Okay.